The development of the JH-7 commenced in the mid-1970s to fulfill the Chinese Air Force and Naval Aviation's requirement for an all-weather interdictor. Resembling an enlarged Sepakat Jaguar, the JH-7 has been designed to achieve performance levels close to the Tornado IDS, albeit with a slightly reduced payload, yet boasting an extended unrefueled range. Referred to as the Fei Bao or Flying Leopard in China and as the Flounder in Western contexts, the JH-7 incorporates numerous domestically developed systems and equipment. These include the JL-10A Multimode Radar, Blue Sky Low Altitude Radar slash Forward Looking Infrared Navigation Pods, and Inertial slash GPS Navigation Systems. The Cien WS-9 engines are licensed versions of Rolls-Royce Spey turbofans. Despite its maiden flight reportedly taking place in 1988, the JH-7 program faced technical challenges throughout the 1990s. This led China to contemplate obtaining alternative combat aircraft from Russia, specifically the Sukhoi Su-27s and two-seat Su-30s. Strikingly, the acquisition of Sukhoi aircraft did not signal the end of the JH-7 program. The resurgence of the JH-7 program likely stemmed from the PLA's aspiration to modernize its air forces and the Chinese aerospace industry's desire to provide more contemporary fighters for export. In 1998, the decision to prominently showcase the JH-7 at the Zhuhai Airshow was accompanied by a modest procurement of the aircraft. As the PLAF integrated Su-30s for long-range strike missions, the Chinese naval aviation adopted the JH-7, acquiring approximately 25 to 32 aircraft for a single regiment. Consequently, the Chinese naval aviation gained a potent long-range maritime attack capability. Armed with indigenous C-802 or supersonic KR-1 missiles, a version of the Russian KH-31P-AS-17 Krypton, the introduction of the JH-7 altered the power dynamics in the Taiwan Straits and extended into the South China Sea. During China's 1995-1996 exercises near Taiwan, a fleeting glimpse on Chinese television showed a JH-7 releasing a series of freefall general-purpose bombs. Nevertheless, the JH-7 lacked radar-guided air-to-air missiles, rendering it susceptible to other common regional fighters like the F-16. China aimed to acquire an aircraft with versatile multi-role capabilities. In 2012, China procured a total of 76 Su-30 MKK aircraft from Russia for the People's Liberation Army Air Force, along with 24 Su-30 MK-2 for the Navy. Additionally, the production of an indigenous J-16 multi-role fighter commenced in the same year. The JH-7 is being proposed for export under the designation FBC-1 Flying Leopard.